I, I think what we have here is everybody's wrapped up in our offense, um, coaching staff, the players, the, the fans, about like where we are offensively against that zone. And if you look at the stats, they shot 45% from the field, and we shot 42% from the field. That's that's not the disparity. That's not the problem. Our problem is that we refuse to like be sound on the defensive end. Um, I, I told our guys before the game, I put up the score 48-38. That was the score of uh, Virginia against Wisconsin. And it's not like Wisconsin and Virginia got um, high major, big time athletes you know, from the South. But they're solid and compact <laughs> on every possession. And so when they're solid and compact on every possession, they play good defense and they don't put themselves out of position and they don't foul. And our team doesn't realize that. They try to steal the ball. They try to, when it's not solid right now, the defensive end, it leads to us foul. And if you look at the game, there's this old adage, anytime you shoot more, you make more free throws than the opposing team shoots, you're, you're going to win. And if you look at our stats, that, that proved true uh, tonight. But, you know, we made a comeback and we played hard, but that was out of desperation. That, that really doesn't count. you got to do that from the very beginning. And we're not doing that playing that hard and playing it like out of desperation from the very beginning. So it's, it's great that we kind of came back, but that's it's, it's going to be that way every single time until we play defense and buy in from the very beginning. It's a first, it seemed, you know, Craig kind of looked like a guy who had some of that, I don't know if desperation is the right word, but the urgency out there. I mean, it seemed like you guys were floating a little in that first half, did you think? Well, I mean, that's what the zone does. When you play a 2-3 zone and you pack it in, it makes you complacent. And everybody thinks you got to make threes mm -hmm. just because they're playing in a 2-3 zone. So what you're doing is you're stagnant and you're playing right into the hands of what the opposing team does. And, and really, David, at the end of the day, I told our guys, like, so what if we don't score we don't make a three? Like, if they don't score, then we're still good. It's 0-0 zero to zero still. So, like, we get wrapped up in what's going on with our offense and now it affects our defense. So... But, I mean, to answer your question, yeah, Chicken is playing with fire. He's playing. He's competing. He's trying to trying to win. And he's doing it from the very beginning. Rick, we, IJ came in here and said, look, we're going to shoot 18 threes. We better be getting in the gym and shoot. And you've got a freshman who played three games just saying, taking ownership in his basketball team. And is it a bad news thing that he's the one doing it? Or is that, are you happy that he's the one doing it? Well, I don't know if there's any bad news out of a guy, you know, IJ is a special kid, and he's going to be a really good player for us, and um, he, he gets it. It's as simple as that. I don't know what you can say it is, but whatever it is, you're trying to relate to the team or you're trying to um, get the team to understand, IJ already understands it. So, um, and he's exactly right. I mean, but once again, we're so wrapped up in the shooting. I mean, with, so, I mean at the end of the day, we shot 42% from the field. They shot 45% from the field. That's not, that's not the problem. How do you think I.J. looked in his first game back? I thought he was – I didn't think he was explosive as he normally is, and I don't know if it's due to the fact that he's not conditioned right or if he still has a little bit of a hamstring issue. Um, what I don't want to do is I don't want to further injure I.J. And I, that's why I kept asking him, are you all right? I kept asking Scotty, our trainer, is, is he all right? Because I don't want to do anything to further injure him because I think you can see how much of a valuable commodity he is to this basketball team. When you do a film session, if you do a film session on this game, do you show the guys the positives of, hey, we got to stop here, we got out on transition, chicken got from the basket? I mean, that, that seemed to happen on a pretty consistent basis when we got stopped. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, we'll always do film, we'll always do positives and negatives because it's always like film is, is a teaching tool and it's a learning lesson. And you can't learn just from the negatives and you can't learn just from the positives. You got to do both. And the one thing that you have to do when you're in the film session is, is guys got to understand they got to have thick skin because it's right there on tape. And so you can't take it as a situation where I'm trying to come down on you personally. I'm just trying to help you, <clears throat> excuse me, be a good player and has to be a good team. I guess Chicken sat in the seat right next to you and saying, we got to come out faster, we got to come out more stronger. How frustrating is it? It seems like that's kind of the same thing each game. Yeah, it's become a routine for us. Um, and I don't know what that is. I wish I could put my finger on it and, and solve it. Um, but, uh, you know, we play better in the second half, and we're here at home, and um, there's nothing that changes in the scouting report as far as, like, what the other team is doing defensively. It's not like they're changing. Um, we knew they were going to play zone. We knew they were going to play a good bit of zone because of their personnel <coughs> uh, and lack of depth. So, 
Um, it's not. It was not a surprise. When they're missing fields and, and are as depleted in the front court as they are, I mean, specifically, I guess, Gavin and Conley show up and play better. Is, was that an opportunity for them? That was missed? Well, I think they got to show up and play better, regardless of what the other poles of teams' issues are. I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with we're not going to be successful. Um, if those guys aren't being good basketball players. Right now, Colin is just struggling. He started off really well, and he's struggling right now. I think at one point, uh, Chickman, 20 points, unless the starters had 12. How do you got, how do you get them going? How do you get Colin or, um, like you said, Gavin going? Well, I mean, it's equal opportunity for everybody. There, there's not like I want chicken scoring all right. the points, and so they have as much opportunity to score as those other guys. So it's not me getting them going, it's themselves getting themselves going. Very good.